Hey everybody, I thought you would like to see a different method of deleting, which is uh, actually my personal favorite on how to remove them versus the hammer and vice method. And I have another uh, Pentium 4, just like before, 2.8 gigahertz. And how this method works, instead of whacking it with the wooden hammer, is what I like to use is just a feeler gauge, standard feeler gauge, nothing fancy or special with this guy at all, except I like to use the .152 millimeter feeler. Reason why is it's thin enough to cut through the epoxy at the same time strong enough to not bend. If you look in the process around the corners, normally you will find one where the epoxy did not make it all the way around the corner of which for this one looks like it's right here on this corner so how this will work normally you could use gloves if need be but insert it you can see here right there to cut the epoxy not don't push it in too deep so about let's say a quarter away maybe half max with the feeler gauge you do not want to push it in hard far enough to break any uh, resistors that are inside at the same time you don't want to push it in far enough to actually damage the CPU itself so here we'll start and you can see it's starting to slide in real nice already let's rock it back just a little bit push it back in and you can see it's already welded into the chip now and I just felt it break through the corner so now we'll just go ahead and walk this thing around. I'm kind of careful and slow not to actually dig into the chip itself, the board here. And out. Of which now, you can use this to pry it just a little bit. And we're in. Again, here you can see where the thermal paste was squished through the top of the hole on the uh, heat spreader and uh, made itself onto the board there. But now you have the actual die of the chip, the CPU here, without having to actually whack, whack, whack the board with the hammer and vice method, of which you can see that it just did a nice fine cut all the way around the processor. So again, before, you can sit here and carefully scrape it, very carefully here, to remove everything. And you're going to start rolling it with your thumbnail. Remove all the epoxy all the way around the PCB and all the way around the heat spreader. Replace the thermal paste. Put it back together. Just simply repaste it, stick it back together, put the heat seat back on top, and you're good to go. So that's a very short, very quick method, which is the one I normally use to uh, take off the heat spreader on these guys. And um, coming up, I will do another one on how to basically remove the heat spreader for the IHSs that are actually soldered on. For They have the epoxy going around just like this one, but instead of using thermal paste under the IHS, it's solder. So I'll show you a method on the one I normally use on how to remove that for those. So you can actually remove it off the, uh, like the Core 2 Duos and the i7 and i5 series. Sandy Bridge and Ivy Bridge, sorry. And that's all.